Hello gamers and welcome back to another riveting cool episode of Hearts of Iron for Formables A to Z. And I don't know why I'm so excited today because today's genuinely going to be pain and I'm not even saying that for a bit. This is true. This is going to be absolutely fucking dreadful. Now today's episode is Red Finland, which might not seem that bad at first, but then I looked into Red Finland, right? Red Finland is literally just one version of Greater Finland. And I checked in the focus tree and sure enough, the effects of all of these formables, Red Finland, Grand Finnish Federation, Greater Finland, uh, Greater Kingdom of Finland, all of them have this exact same effect. They core the same things. They're literally just the same formable. And you might say, oh no, but those are just the ideological variants, right? Like for example, Red Finland would be Red Finland if it's communist, but if it's fascist, it's going to become Greater Finland. Uh... I wish you were right. Of course, we can test this again. Now we're the Grand Finnish Federation. If we set a ruling party to communists, it should be Red Finland. Yet it's not. So that means these are all the same f***ing formable, except they're not. You see what I mean? So technically, I would have to make separate videos for each of them. I, I don't want to do that. So today, we'll be forming Red Finland, Grand Finnish Federation, Greater Finland, and Greater Kingdom of Finland, all in one video. I'm going to keep Confederation of Finno-Russian Republics for another video, because although it is in the Greater Finland's list, it's not really the same as all of them. I guess we'll start off with Red Finland. <laughs> Let the pain commence. Oh yeah, and is now a good time to mention I've never played Finland before. Oh, but it's all right. I'm gonna learn so much about this country today because I'm gonna be playing it four fucking times. So let's see here. For Red Finland, we're gonna have to go down this path, probably approach the Soviets, I'm assuming, because it's over here. And we're probably gonna have to, yep, we're gonna have to fight a civil war. We start off with an industry. I think this can be legally considered an industry. Pretty good. We start off with a uh, three point 0.81 million core population. That is tiny. The only saving grace that we have is that we actually have really cracked generals for some reason. And also our starting stats like stability and war support are pretty high. So that's good. But other than that, Finland's kind of kind of bad, guys. I don't know. Let's get started with Suomalainen Socialism. Now that we've done the funny communism, let's do towards a red government. And let's see if we can hire a communist person. Yeah, we can get Yuryo Leino. Yes, I love Finnish. You know, YouTubers usually say i'm sorry if i can't pronounce this and i just like to say i i'm not sorry whatsoever no matter how much i butcher it and i don't think we'll be able to approach the soviets because we have to be communist okay so we're probably gonna have to do a civil war and we need 40 percent communism for a civil war okay we'll increase our military budget actually because right now it's looking quite dire i will say and let's also get mr otto wille kusinen a patriotic socialist that gives us even more communism support and he also unlocks decisions to maybe get a bit of an advantage during the civil war let's infiltrate some soviet commandos into Finland. Finland. Smuggled them in like good old Fent. Yo, yo, it's e-begging time. Uh, 50k by the end of the year? Yes, please. Uh, subscriber? Yes, uh, subscribe, please. Bye. And also, we seem to have a balance of power here with fucking our leader, Per Evin Svinhuvud. This is very threatening. Does this mean that if the people don't trust Per Evin Svinhuvud enough, he turns into a pile of ash? We just eviscerate him? I'm not opposed to it. I don't really like the cut of his jib either, but well, like maybe atomizing him is going a bit too far. Next, it wouldn't hurt to do Suomen Ma Voimat, which gives us another military factory. Probably useful for the upcoming civil schism. We really don't like the bald man, huh? Holy shit. He's gonna get, like, lobotomized soon. Let's now enhance our southern infrastructure. Now that we've enhanced our probably non-existent infrastructure because we're Finland, let's do industrial development. Get more civvies. Oh, Norway's going into a communist civil war. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to kill them. We'll still try, definitely. Now that we've done industrial development, we are ready to do the second Finnish civil war. We didn't do crackdown on the military, but I think we can still win this. If we can't win this, it's, it's simply a skill issue really let's do a second finnish civil war and i'm assuming it's going to be spawning in the north side right because the south is probably where most people live because i don't really think most finnish people want to live in the minus 40 degrees celsius wasteland part of the country so they're probably going to be spawning up there let's do a fallback line here if we spawn in the north we're kind of fucked. industry wise and our troops having a good time wise all right the civil war started and yes my hunch was correct we spawned in the south now we have a knockoff oppenheimer looking motherfucker as our leader imo altonen now we have a bunch of soviet commandos and how many troops do we have in total? 15. Okay, so that's not too many, but it's fine. We should be good. And we only have two generals. Shit. <laughs> Hopefully some of them will be coming back after a civil war. Probably not. How many divisions do they have? Oh, that's a hefty amount of... Di oh, 7 to 33? We might be f***ed, boys. Right, well, let's see what approach the Soviets. Maybe they'll help us a bit, perhaps. Oh, God, they have so many troops at the front already. And encirclement here. I mean, actually, wouldn't we be killing basically our own manpower pool by encircle? Well, too late now. <laughs> They're kind of already dead. Let's try and encircle these two divisions. And the Soviets do want to send us volunteers. 10 divisions. That's actually going to help so much. And another encirclement there. All right, next, let's do the worker state, which gives us a bunch of 
really good buffs and I see a lot of green and I like it. Huge encirclement potential there. Hold on. And yep, yeah, we finished the encirclement. Good, good, good. Another encirclement potential there. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Getting encircled like it's nobody's business. And UK just conceded to trade unions. Oh shit, the communist faction might become too strong here. We're not going to try to take any more finished divisions out for the sake of her manpower pool. We're just going to try to take all the cities. Alright, there we go. Finland's dead. We got two civilian trains from them and then whopping 19.9 thousand fuel. God, I forgot to do focus this shit. Um, guess we'll do the Finno-Soviet pact right now. Actually, wait, we can just ask to join their faction right away. Nothing bad could happen from doing that. Now we are to finish Democratic Republic and oh, that bypassed it. Of course it did. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll just join Comintern. Oh, and that bypass. Of course, well, we just joined it. What am I doing? All right, next we can integrate Kola and Karelia, which is, I'm assuming it's going to be these three provinces, right? So we should probably uh, improve relations with the Soviets because I'm not sure they're going to accept. And let's do Finnish Learned Societies, which gives us one research slot. Not bad. And we'll also go up to War Economy. Don't tell our people we're not at war anymore and we don't need it. Oh God, our only chief of army is a garbage specialist. He's not even an expert or a genius. A specialist. He just kind of knows what he's talking about. Like, bro dropped out of school halfway through trying to get his degree in army planning, man. All right, now we've done finished to learn societies. I think the Soviets love us enough to probably give us some land, hopefully, right? So now let's integrate Kola and Karelia. All right, Soviet Union, please accept. Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. And I don't even think we core them. We just owned them now. <laughs> Amazing. Next, let's do Otokumpu for defense industry because it gives us factories and steel. What more could you ask for? And the uh, Soviets are in a civil war. Okay, we should probably try to defeat this. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. Common turn is broken now. I guess I got what we needed from the Soviets. Okay, Stalin has less division, so maybe I should help defeat Stalin so that these Soviets can quickly go into peace and start rebuilding because we definitely do need a strong communist ally and we can maybe get some land from the Soviet Union. Mm. And the Soviet Union wants to resupply in our court. Go ahead. While well, you still can. I like how we still have like Soviet commandos in our army. They just don't mind that we're justifying war against their own country. They don't really give one. They only live to fight. We can actually ask for annexation of Estonia with the Finno Estonian Union, but they don't really like us, so let's leave that to later. Let's do industrial upgrade in Harjavalta. And let's also move up to extensive conscription. Now a whole two people can be in the army instead of what? I completely forgot to improve relations with Estonia. So uh let's cooperate with social democrats. And now our justification on Soviet Union has ended, uh, but we're gonna wait for for this to become 90 so that we can do the Finno-Estonian Union and hopefully they accept or else I will be forced to kill them. And also let's just declare war on Mr. Stalin and let's just push. Come on let's take Pietari back. Come on why is it not being renamed to Pietari? Oh it's because we're taking it for the Soviet Union. Fair enough I guess. And Estonia rejects her proposal. Mm, uh, I'm probably gonna have to hit them with hammers. Let's do extra refresher exercises. Get our people primed up for war again. And we have captured Moscow. Perfect perfect and the war is over. All I really want for Christmas is uh, Pietari. Let's pop it up Lithuania. Uh, actually, let's also get Luga and Pshkov, I guess that would be. So that we can invade Estonia a bit more easily. And let's get some Soviet ships here. And I guess, you know what? Uh, you know what? Volkov and Novgorod taking those never really hurt anyone. And if we're gonna take those two, might as well take Grzev, uh, Kalinin and Neville as well. And if we're gonna go that far, <laughs> might as well just take Orel for the steel. Uh, Kaluga, Smolensk, you know. And if we're gonna go that... <laughs> they're not taking any land. What the f*** are they doing? Uh, yeah, if we're gonna go that far, might as well sneak in, you know, Roslav, Bryansk, Kursk, Belgorod, you know, might as well, right? They're challenging me on Lithuania, but not their own land. All right, so, uh, shit, they hate us. We probably shouldn't have done this, actually. Non-aggression pact? Okay, yeah, they're still willing to get a non-aggression pact, thank God. They actually like us more than we like them, which is fucking crazy. They have claimed our territory. Well, no shit, it's kind of theirs. And Polish and Lithuania just entered a crown... They stole our puppet. They stole our fucking puppet. You can't just steal our puppet. Okay, you're dying. Oh no, that's right. We're not in faction with the Soviets. Shit. What happened to manners? What happened to shame? Let's do Finnish influence in the Baltic because I'm pissed off now. You don't see me ever taking people's puppets. Although I probably would do that if I had the option. Since Finland has no population, I guess we'll do ideological loyalty. I'm not a portrait glazer myself, but if it works, it works. And the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth's rebirth. Uh, this is not what anyone wanted to see. You don't even have all of Lithuania. And also Germany is democratic now and my life. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Do we have a war goal in Estonia? No, but I'm assuming it's way faster, right? Yeah, it's 45 days. They've kind of forced our hand. And before we do Keepers of the Baltic Countries, where we ask all of them to, you know, of course, become our puppets, we're gonna improve relations with them. Let's do the Bank of Ireland. And our justification on Estonia is finished. And uh, they're guaranteed by the UK and Sweden. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll try to annex them the diplomatic way later. I think everyone kind of likes us enough, so let's do Keepers of the Baltic Countries, and hopefully they all accept, please. And Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth declared one Latvia. That's not very cool.
cool of you, Poland. What the f*** is wrong with you? That's like if I invaded Estonia, man. That's f***ing insane. Why would you do that? Latvia, please hold on until this focus ends. 20 more days, come on. Don't lose Riga. Don't lose Riga. Polish-Lithuanian government rejects our demands. Unfortunate. How about Latvia? They rejected. I think we got rejected by everyone. Let's do Red Finland. <laughs> Whatever. I'm depressed now. Oh, great. And now since Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth declared one Estonia, now Sweden and Britain are involved and Sweden joined the f***ing allies. That really sucks. Okay, you know what? Let's just justify on Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Help the allies defeat them. All right, now we have completed Red Finland and we are Red Finland now. What? Whoa. How did that happen? Our core population is now a staggering 4.75 million. And also I think we have claims on, yeah, Swedish and Norwegian territory as well. All right, next, instead of doing cultural preservation, we're going to expand our industry. Actually, let's make our army a bit better. We're probably going to need it for the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth War. And our justification on Poland is over. So now let's start invading them. And we're going to start by cutting off the army invading Estonia. This is character development. We went from justifying on Estonia to saving their asses. Next, let's do the cold front, which makes our soldiers better in cold conditions. And Germany announces Central European Alliance. That means no more fun is allowed in Europe. I pack it up, guys. Fun is over. Fun is over. No one can have a good time in Europe anymore. At least we have an artillery genius. Bro graduated from artillery school. Sob emoji, prey emoji, skull emoji. All right, next, let's do winter warfare. Maybe I should join the Allies so that this war does end eventually. I'll just offer them military access. That should be enough. Oh, we can do an encirclement here, actually. Nice, okay. We're onto something. We're onto something. We are cooking right now. Another encirclement here. We're cooking. Let's push into Poland proper. Oh, I get why we encircled them so easily now. It's because they're also at war with the Soviets, who are also in the Allies. Fine, well, let's join the Allies for now. And Rome has fallen for some... Oh, God. Italy, what What are you... Okay, so Italy, let me get this straight, right? You somehow found yourself at war with Yugoslavia, Romania, and Turkey, and France, and thought you could win in a faction with Greece, Albania, and Bulgaria. The delusion you need to have that much confidence is palpable. You genuinely need to have sub room temperature IQ to believe that. Now I guess we could do Finnish autonomy I guess that would give us some stability, a lot of political power and get public trust and encirclement of one mountaineer division. Big things are happening in Finland. I mean I would shit on Poland but they are like fighting a force that's around like five times their size so I do kind of respect them to an extent. To an extent I still hate them but like you know like if you think about it this isn't really winnable. Oh and the UK kicked us from their faction and I will guarantee you they think we're a faction traitor. I, I hate this game. Just Paradox, paradox, paradox. Put the gun down. Paradox. And another encirclement there. Perfect. I see why they kicked us out now. You know, jealousy can lead to a lot of things. And another surroundment here. It's not an encirclement yet. Now it's an encirclement. And now they invite us to the allies again. Fantastic. The UK is on their schizo arc again. Why does Poland have so many faction mates now? What happened? What in the hell happened here? Whatever. I'm just not going to question it. I don't care enough. My only job right now is to kill Poland and end this war. Wait, hold on. The encirclement potential here is absolutely crazy. Oh, the encirclement potential. No, hold these people off. Oh my god. The encirclement. We're like the fucking LeBron James of encirclements, bro. Oh, it's so over Poland, bros. If I can complete this thing here, you're done. You're so done. I don't even have to portray you as a soy jack. You've already lost. It's done. The dancing ban. <laughs> as the war continues, increasing number of politicians and other leading figures are pushing a ban on public dancing in an effort to show respect and solidarity towards our soldiers fighting on the front lines. I think we should actually dance in honor of war for how much we're destroying the Polish. We're not going to ban dancing. In fact, I'm going to encourage the fucking dancing. All right, and the whole of these troops are now encircled. I may be having a bit too much fun doing this. Destroy the Poles. And the UK kicked us from the faction again. We're the only people actually doing shit in this war, and we keep getting kicked. We live in a society, genuinely. We have now killed 500,000 Poles, the most out of everyone in the war. Let's just deal the finishing blow on Poland at this point. They definitely have, like, just an army that's even smaller than ours at this point. And another encirclement there around Warsaw. How appropriate. And that's it for the... Why isn't the war over? Is it Canada? It's probably Canada, right? Who is it? <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. No, 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 no. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Trinidad? Trinidad? And Tobago? Trinidad! And fucking Tobago, who are apparently going fascist, by the way. I guess we'll naval invade. Do we know how to naval invade people? Uh, we don't. Of course we don't. And I don't mean that as sarcasm. Of course we don't. We're fucking Finland. Oh, and the Soviets declared war on us. We're f***ed. 
fucked. We're actually fucked. Okay, let's get a non-aggression pact with Sweden. They're still gonna join anyway, but... Oh, we're so done, actually. Okay, well, Japan invited us to their faction. Hopefully, there's more members in this faction. It's only Japan! Oh, my goodness. All right, well, all of our industry is in the south, so... I should probably have those divisions to hold the line there. And have some divisions here to guard the ports. I probably shouldn't have taken all that land from the Soviets, to be honest. That probably wasn't the best call. I'll be the first to admit. I think our, yeah, our manpower has gone up from being in a defensive war against the Soviets, I think. That's pretty useful, actually. Now, ironically, our only hope to survive is Germany and the Central European Alliance and how much they can cook. I never thought I'd have to say this, but save me, Conrad Adenauer, please. Let's do the Mannerheim line. Because I think it's quite relevant right now. US Soviet joins Central European Alliance. Romania, good, good, good. Sweden can request control of Aland. I think they actually didn't join the war on us. Uh, whatever. Is Sweden compensates us. Uh, construction speed 15% for 365 days. Whatever. Our land is useless anyway. Evacuation of children. What? But they could have been soldiers. Fuck. Ah, oh, they would have made great soldiers. Nobody in the international community would have critiqued us at all. I like how instead of invading Trinidad and Tobago, these bums are putting like the entire army on our front. And <laughs> Japanese divisions have finally arrived here. They're dedicating so many troops to what the hell? Four divisions per tile. That's crazy. Holy shit, the Japanese pushed them back. Oh, they're cooking. Oh, wait, they're actually cooking. Hold on now. All right, so we built the Mannerheim line. Let's also do defense in depth. Uh, let's do Suomen Academia. Get one more research slot. Oh, yes. Brilliant encirclement. Actually, screw defending. We're going to try to encircle this army here. That would be funny. This could be huge. And now this army is encircled. You love to see it. You really do. The snow is our turf, buddy. Oh, we're just melting these divisions. You are not built for this. Holy shit, that's a lot of people that are dead. And finally, yes, okay. Germany has declared war along with the Central European Alliance on... Holy fuck, they're strong. On the SSSR. Let's ask for military access. Let's offer them military access. And let's get a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, now the front is very barren all of a sudden. I wonder what happened. I sure wonder what happened. All right, so Soviets, I think uh, it's time for you to be done. It's over for you. Ah, Estonia's dead. Fan fantastic. Let's go up to Old Altser. We're going all in. Let's get five civilian factories now. And we've taken Moscow. Perfect. Oh, and Sweden broke our pact, and the person to fing call them in is the Bahamas. The UK couldn't convince Sweden. Soviet Union couldn't convince them either. But it, it took the fing Bahamas to do it. Amazing. Well, I'm just gonna trust that Germany can defend us, whatever. It looks like they're about to die anyway. It probably doesn't matter too much. And Sweden has capitulated. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have a core on Norbotin, so let's ask Germany for a Nor... That's right, we're not in the same faction as them, goddammit. And massive encirclement here, holy shit, the Soviets are throwing. See, this is the Konrad Adenauer effect. Like, the fact that we're doing so well is probably part of the, the Konrad Adenauer, like, plot armor. It's extending to us now. And another major encirclement here. All right, next, let's do Oi Alkoholilike, in which we ask an alcohol company to make cool-ass Molotovs for us. Very interesting strategy. The Finnish do not f*** around. And one of the wars ended. Uh, it's the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth War. Man, we had so much war score in that war. But since we've been literally so busy fighting the Soviets, we kind of just lost it all. Unfortunate. All right, so beautiful peace conference has ended. Puppeted the People's Republic of Pakistan. We have the Bengal People's Republic, which is our puppet. We took Sri Lanka for the rubber. We took all of Lithuania that we could. We puppeted the Commonwealth of Socialist Republics. And now we have a lot of garrison that we're going to ask our Pakistani puppet to take care of that. Oh, did the US join in on the... Oh, it's over for the Soviets then and also the British. Oh yeah, they're done. Alright, next let's do Preserve Sapmi. I think that will actually allow us to core these 308,000 people. That's so many people. And I think we also ask for some land controlled by Norway and Germany, so you just know they're gonna say no. And now let's you reunite with the Romanian frontier. Now the great thing about this is that this entire army is stuck. And Norwegian People's Republic rejects our petition. Damn, everyone's rejecting our f***ing petition. What the f*** guys? Are you telling me you don't want to give me free land? Absolutely despicable.
Uh, and if you're wondering why you've been seeing like some Manchuko division, it's because Japan declared war on them and they joined the allies. This is probably the most cursed allies I've ever seen. SSSR, Fascist Manchuko, and Communist Britain. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful encirclement. I don't even think I need to say when I get encirclements anymore. They just happen so often. Another encirclement. I know I said I wouldn't say them, but like, if I don't say it, how how will Reddit ever find out, guys? How will the Hoi4 subreddit know that I've done these encirclements if I don't exclaim them? And let's finally do Tornio Steel Factory. Because we don't have enough steel. What would I do without my beloved 200 steel? And yeah, any second now, the SSSR should be dying, really. There we go. Now, it would take out these individual cells of like Manchukan divisions but I could not care less I'm gonna go kill Britain Union of Britain challenges capitalism to be honest uh, I think capitalism might be the least of your concerns wait we actually managed a lot oh well that was easier than I thought all right well the war's over all right, and the Union of Britain has capitulated, and we have won the war. All right, peace deal over. Uh, we've taken all of this land. I just want to make my lands in Russia a bit chunkier. Uh, the rest of Russia has been made into Finnish Russia. If you're wondering why these things exist, is because I probably misclicked. And so now the Russian Federation is in three separate places. And also, the Republic of Ukraine was liberated by Germany because they love doing that shit. We also have the Turkish Socialist Republic, and also the Socialist Republic of Britain, which is now our puppet. And this, this is the same thing to Germany really want to liberate Scotland for some reason. I think we're going to end a communist segment just by killing Norway. We do have a war goal on them. All right, let's destroy Norway. Quickly get our cores. And we have cleansed Norway out now. I think now we also have all of our cores, which 6.6 .6 million. Man, that's bad. And I know I didn't address this, but yeah, Spain looks... <laughs> this just isn't it, man. What is this? It almost makes our borders look better. Almost. Alright, let's just naval invade Spain. And yeah, Spain I don't think was ever ready for this. I think we genuinely lost more men in this war than the entire Soviet conflict. That's how bad the Soviets were. I mean, we're also just recklessly attacking on aggressive, so that might also be a factor. This is the Finland video. I'm gonna use this opportunity to shit on the Soviets. And yeah, that's about it for them. Alright, and I think this is gonna be the end of the communist segment. We now have the Spanish commune and Finnish Portugal as puppets. I mean, I guess I'll just show it on the map. We also have Bulgaria as a puppet. And yeah, we are nowhere as strong as the Central European Alliance, but I think this was a pretty successful campaign as Red Finland. We now have three more formables to go. I'm gonna return to this tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, greetings. I am back again the next day. Uh, we're gonna go in alphabetical order for the last three. So we're gonna start with the Grand Finnish Federation. Democracy. Great. <laughs> I love democracy. Uh, let's see how democracy goes for us. I mean, I'm pretty sure the democratic path is literally just a mirror of the communist path, except we're probably gonna antagonize the Soviets this time. I guess we'll start once again with Suomalainen Socialisme. I think I'm gonna stop repeating focuses that I've already said. Actually, probably not, because some of the focuses are shared, and it's probably important to let you guys know I'm doing some of these focus. There's no winning. Oh, actually, wait, I just came up with an unhinged idea. Hold on. So that every campaign is very different. Let's load the random preset. That makes every country path completely random. Yeah, that sounds like a fun time, actually. <laughs> totally just didn't shoot myself in the foot or anything. And next we shall do social democracy. It never doesn't hurt to go democratic in this game. And I think we need, what is it, 60% for democracy? Okay, let's get a democratic guy here. Mr. Carl August Fagerholm. Because anyone is better than Per Evins Fidroven. When Germany has gone civil war, I guess some things never change. All right, so before we antagonize the Soviets, we should probably try to gain the guarantees of the UK and France. Let's start improving relations with France and Britain. And yeah, Père Vinsouvoud has once again been reduced to a pile of ash. Very sad. Bro stayed in the sauna for a bit too long. Get it? Because we're playing Finland. <laughs> Only funny jokes here on the Hollow Being YouTube channel. All right, now that we've increased military budget, I think uh, our relations are pretty high. Let's wait for them to become 90. And now let's try to get guarantees from them. Antagonize the Soviets. Perfect. The French government vows to protect Poland and the British also vow to protect us. Doing pretty good. And since it's going to take a while to get to 60% democracy, let's start doing these decisions here. Let's gather funds for women's shelters. Very impressed that Paradox was able to incorporate women in Hoi4. This is a concept that is completely foreign to the Hoi4 community. I'm very glad that Paradox Interactive actually, you know, added women to the game. The nice thing about not going to civil war is that we're going to keep all of our crack 
packed ass generals, which is very nice. Like Carl G. Mannerheim. I don't know why he has such a. This is a German name, right? I'm not tripping. Should we go to Finno Estonian Union? I feel like they just won't accept, really. Let's improve relations with Estonia. And Estonia loves us at a factor of 100, so they better accept total annexation. That'd be nice. I'd appreciate it. Norway's going into a communist civil war again. Okay. Interesting. That's probably also not good for us. And oh, they actually accepted. Shit. Okay. Nice. We love to see it. We love to see it. Now, of course, this just makes us even more likely of a Soviet attack, but hey. All right. Let's call for union activism and also push for cabinet participation. And after these are done, we should have 60%. Wait, do we core? Oh, we core Estonia too. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Now that we've done industrial development, let's go pragmatic socialism because we finally have 60% democracy. Presidential terms comes to an end. I don't care. Svin Huvud, you're going to be out of political office anyway soon. It, it doesn't matter. You don't matter. Like, I'm sorry, but you look like the Pokemon Whizcash. I don't think you should be holding any political office, to be honest. And yeah, we now have Vino. Oh, it's Tanner. Tanner's in government now. And uh, yeah, everyone still hates Tanner, which is very sad. United Kingdom concedes a trade union. Why is everyone going the same paths they did in the non-historical route? This is quite concerning. Now let's do mineral wealth, which gives us three civvies. Pretty good. Damn, we have like so many military geniuses, like Mannerheim and Nenonen and Oesh. Like, what the fuck? Country is full of geniuses. What the hell? Alright, next, let's do defensive preparations. Can't be prepared enough when the Soviets are probably poised to attack us at any moment, really. And now the problem I'm seeing is that we don't have the Karl Marx portrait, and I can't believe I'm saying I'm I'm missing the portrait right now. And we can't move up our conscription law because we're a democracy. Uh, this is gonna be quite annoying. All right, now that we've done defensive preparation, we're also gonna do the Mannerheim line. Get even more defense. And the Soviet Union enter a civil war. Damn, the random ideologies didn't do shit. This is going exactly the same way. All right, now that we've done the Mannerheim line, let's do Social Democratic Women's Union. Okay, so the French communists won, and then immediately got a fascist civil war. France, are you doing all right? Polish, Lithuania, and Kingdom Poland. Oh my god, they did it again. They fucking did it again. Everything is the same. Everything is the same. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's do industrial upgrade in Haryabalta. I guess we'll do defense in depth because we're gonna start building some forts all around the place. Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth declared war on Latvia. Probably gonna try to get Estonia next. Why am I getting deja vu? Why'd they spare Latvia? What the fuck? The AI is so questionable. They have Riga as a core state. Why didn't they take it? I feel like I'm the fucking crazy one. Now we can finally approach major democracies because I think we're at 58% world tension and we can finally Finally try to join the allies, which are probably gonna get destroyed soon because uh that's a lot of red. And the Central European Alliance has been formed. Oh shit, that's probably a better faction to join. Well, I joined the allies, whatever. Oh, we can ask for land from Norway and Sweden. If, if they refuse, we can just straight up war them. But first, of course, we're gonna try to do it the democratic way. And while we're waiting for that, let's do aid for entrepreneurs. Now that we've improved relations with Sweden and Norway, let's do control the flux of iron ore. And if communist Norway refuses, I am afraid. I'm gonna invade them. Sweden's a bit more tough because they're guaranteed by Democratic Germany. It's like they fucking foresaw this. And the uh, Union of Britain, ah, uh, that's not good. We should probably try to help them, actually. It's very small, though. We might be able to defeat it. Hold on. Let's try to take Liverpool first. And yeah, we've captured Liverpool. And what? Well, <laughs> that that was it. I think I, I think I deserve something, but we don't have enough score. I'm tragically sad, but at least we didn't lose an ally. And Sweden joined the Central European Alliance. Worst news of my life. And the Northern Revolutionary Front rejects our demands. And how about Sweden? Sweden also rejects. Ah, that's so unfortunate. We can declare war on the Northern Revolutionary Front, no problem with Sweden. They're allied with Germany. Okay, we'll figure something out. And the Norwegians are communists, so surely they're not gonna join any Central European alliances or something, you know? Like, if there was such a thing, they would never join. Well, let's move up our conscription law to extensive. It it'll do for now. Let's also go up to war economy. Actually, never mind. We can go to service by requirements as well. Nice. Okay, we're cooking. We're actually gonna be able to field some competent divisions soon. Wait, did Sweden... Oh, they joined the allies instead. That makes it so that we we literally just can't get their land anymore, but eh, whatever. It's democracy. We're all about friendship and things like that, so eh, it's fine. The problem with Northern Norway is that there's nothing, let alone a port. So let's try to rush to one here. We need supply desperately. Oh, big encirclement potential here. And that's two encirclements. The Norwegians are channeling the Russian spirit. Our next, let's do socialist welfare here. And another brilliant encirclement. I'm starting to think it's not even our enemies. Finland is just built different. All right, now we can finally proclaim the Grand Finnish Federation. And we can entice the masses again. Now we're on medium trust. And now instead of being a pile of ash, Vino Tanner, he has like a concussion or two, but he, he'll be fine. And now we have proclaimed the Grand Finnish Federation. This is different from Red Finland, apparently. And I like how the Soviet Union is still doing their eternal civil war. Are you guys having fun? And Germany's at war again. I wonder who against. Oh, the Allies. Us. Interesting. And the United States decided to join the Allies instead of the Central European Alliance. Germany, I don't know what you were cooking, to be honest with you.
with you. Oh, another encirclement there. Oh, brilliant. Uh, encirclement. And, uh, Finnish Norwegian. Oh, that's not good. Are we at war with the Soviets? Oh, never mind. They just called in Mongolia and Tanatuva. I thought they got the Soviets involved for a second there. Norway, what the f*** are you cooking? You know what? Let's just kill them. Let's get, let's kill them before it gets out of hand. Wait, can we also get Turkey out of this war? Okay, okay. We have to kill Norway right now. Let's march into Oslo. Uh, come on. Before Turkey becomes a major. And that's it. Holy shit. That's a lot of land that we can get. Oh, this is fantastic. Democracy. Perhaps I've treated you too harshly. I guess we will release Spain as a puppet and also Turkey as a puppet because I do not want to defend those. Now we own Kurdistan. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna keep that just because it's funny. Oh my god. We have a core on Norbotan and a claim on this. Having all these resources would have been so nice. Oh man, I see why Sweden wouldn't let go of them now. Now Norway on the other hand, calm down. It's fucking seven tungsten. All right, you. I think you could have given me that. Now we can utilize Spanish and Turkish manpower to train up some divisions. So next, what we're gonna attempt to do is probably naval invade Germany. Oh look, funny, a little World War One recreation is happening here. And Denmark declared one in Northern Rev. They're still alive. Oh, they're on Jan Mayen. That's right. I spared Jan Mayen. Soviets moved to secure Sphere. We're gonna have to try to kill Germany before the Soviets get involved. All right, so let's join in on the war against. Uh, I think it's just the entire German faction. Hopefully, there's not a country here that the Soviet Union. Why the fuck are you guys at war with the Soviet Union? Okay, we'll just join the war specifically on the Germans. I swear to God, wars in Hoi 4 are so like screwed up sometimes where like even if it says the German American war, the Soviets are somehow gonna get involved, so I have to be careful. Yeah, see, they're fucking involved. It's not even like they're in the Central European Alliance or anything. They're in the European Combine. Okay, so never mind. The Soviet Union is somehow uh, involved in all of them. That that was not part of the plan. Germany invites a grand. <laughs> <laughs> why is this so funny? I don't know why, but the game froze. I Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's because El Salvador joined Japan. Okay, yeah, the computations that go into that. Not even the world's strongest supercomputer could process that in under like two seconds. I, I understand now. No, yeah, the El Salvador-Japan alliance is insane. Oh, actually, Soviet Union is not mentioned in this call to arms, right? So we won't be at war with them, right? Good, okay. Now let's naval invade Germany. Our snipers are proving highly effective. Are we being invaded? What? We haven't even made landfall in Germany yet. Where the fuck are our snipers? I mean, sure, whatever. If our snipers are doing good, our snipers are doing good. You know what? Yeah, whatever. All right, let's land in Germany. Do we have naval supremacy? Do we not? Friendly supremacy. Zero. Okay, I guess we'll send our own fucking fleet here. God, can we not go through the Danish belt? Simo Hagia accredited as white death. Oh, okay. He's still alive. That's good. Ooh, attack on the major countries is really good. Oh, wait, the Netherlands joined the allies. We can just send our army there. Let's finish this encirclement here. And Wilhelmshaven has been surrounded. And another encirclement there. And we've now isolated the German army invading Denmark. And I think we can also get German threat, which gives us 10% attack bonus against Germany. And if you add that to the attack bonus against majors, we're basically gonna be melting German divisions. I have no idea why this war started. I just want to beat the shit out of Conrad Adenauer. I don't care who's right, who's wrong. I just want to destroy Germany. Come on, let's kill off this surroundment. And the dancing ban again. Uh, don't ban dancing. We need to dance to commemorate the fact that we're beating the shit out of Germany. Let's finish off these divisions here. And that's gonna be a lot of dead people if we can actually finish them off. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. We have already killed the second most Germans in the war and we just joined. Another great encirclement. What more do I need to say? What more do I need to say? There's another mint of circles. Okay, well, France seems to be experiencing the greatest case of bag fumbling since the fall of the Roman Empire, but we're actually pushing pretty well. I'm proud of what we're doing here. Ooh, a big surround mint here as well. Let's take the credit. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, yeah, we took Berlin, but at this point, it's just so unsurprising that I didn't even bother mentioning it. And they're force attacking, but our defense at this point is just so good. Oh, the Soviet Union ain't f***ing around. They naval invaded Sweden from here. And they're doing pretty well. Well, that's not my business for the time being. Ooh, big encirclement potential here, actually. Ah, oh, yes, encirclement here in Essen and Köln. Oh, so many dead divisions. Surely at this point, we're the number one killer of Germans. There's no way. Yeah, we are. Okay. And once we take, like, Munich, I think that's, like, the last, like, major, major city. Okay, take the funny trial city, and then let's just f***ing march for Munich. Whatever, who's gonna stop us at this point? The Germans? Germany has capitulated, at least, that's good. And who's the other major? I'm assuming it's just... Okay, so it's Poland and Austria-Hungary. Alright, we're just gonna go for frontal assault at this point. It doesn't really matter. They're just too weak. 
Well, at least the Dutch Reek is having a pretty good day today. And that's it for Austria-Hungary. Now all that's left is Poland. Let's take Danzig real quick. And let's just march into Poland. It's just We're just looting a carcass at this point. And that's it for the war. We have the biggest share of the war score. All right, so, 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 so. We've done some great things here, in my opinion. We took, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we took, like, northern Germany. Uh, Germany was spared here in, in Niederschlesien and in Saxon. France took some South German land in Belgium. The Dutch Reich took this. The Danubian Confederation was also spared here. Italy took, like, a lot of the Balkans. Poland was spared over here and made democratic. God bless your soul. We took Lithuania and Portugal as well. Next, we're gonna put all of troops on this front. I don't really care if they take all the German land. I mean, our allies are probably going to defend that land anyway. And next, we're going to do Soviet threat so that we have some attack bonuses on the Soviet Union. And I think during the war, yeah, the allies declared war, or vice versa, declared war on the Italian faction, which is Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria. Isn't this exactly what happened last campaign as well? We've been embargoed by Venezuela. You're, you're fascist. You're broke. All right, now we have gained our war goal on the Soviet Union. It is time to die. I'm sorry. We're simply attacking before they would totally attack us. This is very justified. Like, I know I'm sounding sarcastic, but they would probably have attacked us eventually. So I'm just speaking facts here. Evacuation of children. Sure, whatever. Again, prime soldier material, but it's fine. Ah, sick Pietari. And funny thing is, these Soviet troops are invading Sweden. Right now, we're convoy raiding, so they should be getting literally nothing. They're starving. No food. But to be fair, who really needs food to fight a war? You just need a good old gun and some elbow grease, you know? Like, I'm sorry, if you need food as as a soldier, you're just not a good soldier. Okay, Sweden's kind of fumbling the bag here. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to send an army back. Oh yeah, these divisions are so soft. They're starving. They're starving more than a small child living in the slums of Kazan. It's over. Oh yeah, we took Moscow. Again, it's so unremarkable. We're too strong at this point. The only thing we lack really is numbers, but we'll get those eventually. And we've already killed the most Soviets by far out of everyone in the war. That's crazy. 1.5 million. Oh yeah, by the way, the Soviet incursion into Poland is kind of separated now. They kind of f***ed themselves. Imagine losing this bad to the Angry Birds country. I, I couldn't imagine. And yeah, Soviet Union's just running out of divisions as well. 2.3 million casualties from us. And Soviet Union should really capitulate any time now. Ah, right, there we go. The peace deal's over. We have 53% of the war score. Alright, peace deal is over. We have the Grand Finnish uh, Federation, which took all the northern line. I, I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny. We also have the Finnish mandate of Russia, which fuck yeah, it's only a supervised state. That's so unfortunate. It said satellite, but I guess it's just a supervised state, which that's lame. Now we're still at war with the Japanese faction and the mutual assistance block and Peru for some reason. So I guess we'll go kill Japan and call it the end of this campaign. And it seems Italy has had a bad day. It's now British Italy and British Italy still owns things in the Balkans and Greece. Ah, uh, yeah, we have yellow see our fleet isn't that good i guess we'll invade the chinese territories to pass the time and denmark declared war on norway is it for jan mayen again bro just give it up poor bastards christmas what the fuck is wrong with you brother's not jolly in the slightest and manchuko has capitulated fantastic oh shit we have green sea launch we've won the war and Manguko is dead, but the more important capitulation is going to happen in like two more seconds. And there we go. We have 33% war score. All right, PCL is over. I took some of the north here, mostly Manchuko. And also I got a cool last vacation spot for our people in Brazil. And yeah, we have other wars here, but honestly, I could not care less. They're very irrelevant. So this is where we're going to end the democratic part of the video, the Grand Finnish Federation. I think we did truly achieve a state that is worthy of that name. And yeah, next up is, what is it? I don't know, Greater Finland or Greater Kingdom of Finland or some bullshit. Alright, yeah, so the next one is uh, Greater Finland. <laughs> uh, the third f***ing time. Non-historical custom game rules. Load preset, random, load, apply. Alright, this time we go right-wing policies. And we are probably gonna have to do a civil war for this one, so let's go to the south. And now that we've done right-wing policies, we are going to prepare a military coup because I do not want to go through the long-ass democratic process. I want to end this quickly. Let's get Mr. Pavo Susitaival, fascist demagogue. Alright, Germany's civil war. And before we do a fascist regime and that starts 
a civil war, we should probably do these decisions here. So while we do those decisions, let's start doing things like national unity. Okay, let's hire Vilho Anala, fascist corporatist. The guy who looks like the guy who plays the keyboard in Monsters vs. Aliens. The, the resemblance is uncanny. I think he becomes a leader later. Next, let's arm the Lotasvard, whatever that means. I, I don't know who the Lotasvard is, but they have weapons now. And let's secure ourselves the military for the Civil War. And we're also going to do Union of Finnish Brothers in Arms. Okay, this is the exact same f***ing thing happening. The Norwegian Communist Revolution again. I've put this on random, but the same shit keeps happening over and over again. Like f***ing Groundhog Day or whatever the hell that movie is. Alright, we're going to appeal to the middle class. I don't think we need German weapons. We're just going to start the Civil War soon. Alright, now that we've done Suomen, my boy, much. I guess we're ready for a fascist regime. Yeah, sure. At this point in the recording, I just never want to see Finland ever again. I just want to get this over with. A fascist regime, and let's start the Civil War. And do we actually get to keep some good generals? We do. Nice. All right. All right, let's do Patriotic People's Movement. And is our leader? Yeah, okay. This guy looks like the guy who plays the keyboard in that one Monsters vs. Aliens meme. And you will not say otherwise, because I'm always correct. I've never been wrong. Let's go to War Economy. And did Britain go f***? communists again. This is supposed to be random. Why are we doing the same paths over and over again? And that was a super easy civil war. We are now white, Finland. And we can actually ask Estonia for unification, although they are fascist, so I, I think they'll just tell us to f*** off. Now that we've enhanced our infrastructure, let's ask Estonia to die. Please perish for her sake. Come on, Estonia. Estonia, come on. Come on. You. Okay, we're justifying on you. You're done. You're finished. I would love to free the prisoners. I'll get to that. Don't worry. But first, we're gonna do Mustapaidat. Alright, and Soviet Civil War. I guess some things never change. I guess things like that are just guaranteed every run. German and Soviet Civil Wars. They always happen. Next, let's do Finnish Supremacy in the North. Perhaps that Estonia seeks unification. What? Brother, we annex you- Oh, you- Oh, sorry, you're confused. We are supposed to annex you. You- You don't do shit. You die. For us. Are you stupid? They're gonna gain an annex war goal on us. We already have an annex war goal on them. It's whoever pulls the trigger first, really. Alright, well, let's strike Estonia right now. Force attack. Come on, come on, land, please! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Land in Tallinn. Thank you. And let's take Vor and an end of war. Next, let's get claims on the other Baltics, see what happens. And the Soviet Civil War ended very quickly. Okay, they're they're probably gonna be on our ass. Our snipers are proving highly effective. Epic. Cool. We're not even at war, right? Are we? Norwegian. Oh shit. I did not notice. I did not notice. Why are we at war with Norway? Could they fucking not invade me? That'd be nice. Wait, how many divisions do they have? They have less divisions than us. What made them think they're gonna win this? Alright, let's go up to service by requirement. Holy shit, we're zooming. Why the fuck are we so fast? Well, we have truly mastered warfare. Finland actually invented war. Finland once conquered the entire world, but they gave all of the land back because Finnish people are nice. Oh, I feel so bad for Norway. <laughs> My goodness. Many red numbers, and a lot of their armies just got encircled here. You know, they actually call Norway's 007 sometimes, you know, zero wars won, zero competent divisions, and seven losses against Finland. How many divisions do they have left? It has to be like three or something. One to two. That's absolutely pathetic. Next, let's do industrial upgrade in Harjavalta. And now that we finally have supply pushing into the rest of Norway should really be child's play. And we can invite Daneveld to our faction. Let's do that. That does sound quite funny. And yep, that's it for the Norwegian People's Republic. Very pathetic and weak. Norway's not even worth puppeting, to be honest. And now let's do indoctrinate the workers. <laughs> Fantastic. Indoctrinating the soldiers? Nah, nah, nah. That's basic shit. We have to go deeper. It'd be nice to maybe get a war goal on Sweden next. I think they're very defeatable, especially if we have Denmark's help. Let's do ambitions in the south. We will keep murder innocence. We will keep expanding white Finland. I right, ambitions in the south. And of course they're guaranteed by fucking Germany. Fuck you. Since when do you guarantee people like Lithu- both? Since when do you guarantee fucking both of these people? Always has to be someone to ruin the party. Let's do tactical wargaming department, where we get a bunch of people in a room to play Hoi 4, uh, and play every Finnish path to form every formable that it has that is literally the same formable. Doing this will brainwash them enough to become mindless killing machines for Finland. And the Lithuanian People's Republic joined the Central Powers. That makes so much sense, actually. Alright, next let's do Finnish irredentism. I guess we're gonna stir some anti-Soviet sentiment sentiment in Karelia. Piss them off a bit. Alright, next let's do Keepers of the North, in which I'm assuming we're gonna ask all the Nordics to basically bow down before us. And if they don't, I'm afraid we're just gonna have to kill them, maybe. Keepers of the North, come on. Come on, let's kill Sweden, please. Uh, Danevelde becomes a part of White Finland. We love to see it. How about Sweden? Ha! Huh? 
<laughs> How about you? They're democratic. There's no reason for them to join the central powers. We're good. We're gonna kill them. Do we core them as well? We do. We core Denmark. That's fucking crazy. And that's another front we can invade Sweden from with the new Danish army. If I was playing Sweden, I'd quit the game at this point. This would be so bullshit. And Sweden has sadly capitulated. What a terrible fate for a fellow Nordic neighbor. And the, I don't know what happened to resources in Norbotten. They probably like sabotaged them or something because they're cowards. Alright, so White Finland, yeah, it's pretty strong. Well, let's instigate a Karelian uprising now. That sounds funny. Alright, I'm back the next day. Uh, let's continue our plan of world domination. Actually, right now, the front with the Soviets is completely empty. Because they are fighting China, right? Do you think we can maybe take advantage of this? I might be getting a bit too overconfident here, to be honest. Alright, East Karelian Uprising. We fully support our Karelian brothers. And now, actually, yeah, the war has already started against Soviets because we joined on the behalf of our Karelian puppet, which, that's a cool-ass f***ing flag. I love that shit. And we can invite the Imperial Quantum territories to our faction. I guess we'll invite the Kwantan territories to our faction. So now Northern China is part of the Finnish Supremacy League. Yeah, completely forgot I did the Karelian Uprising because I played this yesterday. And as with any puppet that helps us advance our goals, uh, let's annex them. Oh, and now we're at war with the UK as well. Oh, that's terrible. We do not have any divisions guarding this. Wait, why are we at war with the UK, actually? We have to be very careful. Shit. And we can actually invite Greater Portugal to our fat... Fucking sure. Alright, uh, I guess we'll actually do the penal... Uh, Parmy's Devils to get some divisions to guard the coastlines. They're gonna get out of prison just to be forced to fight off the fucking British. Alright, now that we've done Parmy's Devil, it's only one. Okay. Only one division. They're elites, though. They know what they're doing. Uh, let's place him... Uh, here. No, Denmark! Bastards! Oh, we can invite the Dutch Reek this time, but I fear they're just gonna die. I fear the UK is gonna lobotomize them if I invite them into the war. Oh, that's all good, that's all good. We're throwing, we're throwing. Ah, oh, the fucking British are tryharding so much. When we fight them at home, they suck balls, but when they're naval invading, they try so hard. And next, let's do militarized society, which gives us fucking amazing bonuses. 15% more construction, 15% more factory output, 15% more dockyard, and minus 15% training time. That's actually insane. What the hell? We're juggling wars against the Soviet Union and the Allies right now, so I guess we'll need everything we can get to win. Okay, good news though, the SSSR is so close to dying. No, Commies China has to die as well. Oh, that's bad. As long as we can just get the Soviets off our ass, we can maybe get rid of the UK and France here. The war is more than winnable. Oh, f***. Okay, this is terrible. Oh, f they broke through the one prisoner division there? Shit. I don't know what I was expecting, actually. This is really not good. And yes, okay, perfect. The SSSR has capitulated. Now we can invite Romania. Okay, we'll invite Romania to our faction. Wait, can we also invite Yugoslavia? They also seem to be at worth the allies. Oh, they already are in the Finnish Supremacy League somehow. I never invited you. Okay, well, our faction's, uh, faction is getting bigger, I guess. And we can now invite the Dominican Republic. Okay, a powerhouse. And also the Republic of Vietnam. Oh, even Laos wants to join? Yeah, like a whole ass party now. Dutch got eviscerated here. If paratroppers can go from here to there, we might be able to take that back. And then maybe we can paradrop from there to the UK and then kill them. Because we are not competing navally. I'm pretty sure they kind of destroyed some of our fleet, in fact. Oh shit, Romania and Yugoslavia, they failed? Okay, I underestimate the Allies greatly. What the fuck is this? Since when is Italy this competent? I severely underestimated them. Oh, could they fucking not? They have so many more divisions than us. Now that we have 87% stability, we can do national fanaticism. What the fuck is this flag? What is that? Protetoratos Vizero. How the fuck does the Swiss puppet have 15 to 52 divisions? How? How does this Al Capone looking motherfucker have so many divisions? Holy shit. Shit. No, oh, fuck, this is hurting my brain. Okay, two things we have to do here. Cut off this little funnel so that they can't get supply from there. And cut off all ports here so that they can't get supply from anywhere. And then all the divisions in between will perish. Now, will we be able to do that? Good fucking question. We'll see. That is a hotly debated topic among academics right now. But what's good about Finland is that we have so many buffs on core territory. So pushing them out of there shouldn't be too much of an issue, I hope. This is definitely one of the biggest hollow being throws of all time. This whole war. Okay, they've been isolated from the southern supply line. That's really really good. Uh, not to mention, I also did the Modi tactics here, so that should help quite a lot. Actually, wait, our Modi tactics? <laughs> we only did them in states that they're not in. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
I'm dumb. Don't, don't mind me. It's fine. All right, let's just casually take back Helsinki, our dear capital. Oh, wait. Did Germany declare... They declared war on the Allies. Oh, that's amazing, actually. They may have saved their asses here. And now all these divisions are encircled. Let's finish them off. The British are getting overstretched, huh? Well, how does it feel to get overstretched this time, huh? UK allies? Let's get rid of the last Italian pockets here. Encroaching upon our beautiful land. What? Why the f***? Oh my god, now we're at war with the Germans. Why the f*** are we at war with the Germans now? This is actually a disaster. This is a genuine disaster. I was wondering why Leningrad fell. It's because the f***ing Germans took it. But the thing is, they're trying to push into Russia, right? So they're gonna be super overstretched. Maybe you can just kill off the German Empire. That would be amazing. Cross into Copenhagen. Come on. Just a bit more. Just a bit more. Come on. Marines, please. You have to do this for me. Oh, they're really edging me. There we go. Landing into Denmark. Good, 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 good. And let's annex a Corello Finnic state, and then we should be able to do White Finland soon. Alright, let's kill these traitorous wretches. We have carte blanche into German territory. Let's kill them. Oh, uh, while you're busy invading Russia, Germany, something terrible is happening at home. But I'm afraid I think at this point it's too late. You can't really stop this. The fall of Sevastopol? Well, the fall of Berlin's also about to happen. We're not gonna let them recover. Let's take all of South Germany right now. It's done. It's over. Give up. What a disaster for Germany. Now let's take East Germany and it should be done. And German Empire has capitulated. I think it's only Austria-Hungary, right? That remains in this faction. Japanese people, fuck Japan. I think right now the best thing we could do is hold this front and have one army just kill the UK. They need to die. If anything needs to happen right now is that the UK and the allies need to disappear. Oh, we can't do a greater Finland yet. All core states controlled by White Finland. What core state do we not control? Is it Aland? It's Aland, isn't it? Okay, allies really need to die. And also Bornholm, but Bornholm doesn't matter. If you live in Bornholm, uh, unsubscribe please. Put, like, 15 factories on transport planes. I don't even give a shit. Spend all of the civilian factories we need on rubber. I don't care. Oh, no, they're invading the Dutch Reek. The situation never improves. Okay, we've made a bit of a reversal of the situation here. We encircled these divisions somehow. That's good. Let's take back the Hague and let's take Greta and let's take that okay all right all right all right all right how far are we in okay we have more than enough transport planes out that's perfect undefended good that means that the british are oh i don't like how much london is guarded actually and the union of britain has capitulated thank god all right now what we need to do is focus on killing france if we kill france that will relieve a lot of divisions here and then we'll probably be able to defend germany a bit better than we are currently embargoed by australia when we've been attacked i think ironically even though we're playing fascist i think we've been ambushed more times than we have attacked people. All right, drop. Force attack. Land. Good. And the French communists capitulate. Now all that remains is Italy. Nobody leaves this war alive. And the Swiss protectorate is done. Rest in piss. Uh, we still have to take Napoli, Toronto, and Palermo probably. Come on, get through there. Force attack. I don't care. Anything it takes. We can make, like, sacrifices to the devil. Okay. Why isn't the fucking war over? No, genuinely. Free India? No! Free fucking India? Free India? Where can we even invade Free India from? I guess, uh, the Dutch East Indies? We can do a naval invasion? Ugh. Also, Dutch Reek, stop getting naval invaded for the love of God. That, that's what I thought. 20% naval supremacy. I'm genuinely tilted right now. Wait, we have 100%? Please, please stay that way. Can we launch naval invasion? Yes, okay, perfect. Now, I didn't convert them to marines, but it's free India. I doubt the resistance is going to be that strong. No resistance, as expected. Now, let's kill India. Please, at least they're not protecting their homeland. To their credit, the invasion of their country could be way more hellish than it is right now. If they were actually competent. Rush to Delhi, finish the war, end my suffering. Well, one of my sufferings. That's the last city, right? You fools! Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so I didn't take as much as I could because I know we can just get that land once we defeat the Axis. Or the Central Powers, rather. It's the same fucking thing. It's whatever. It's Germany. They invaded us. They're evil. Oh, we also took India. You know, manpower and such. Can we do actually do Great Finland? Yes, we can. Thank you. Finally. Lit what am I witnessing? What am I witnessing? It was five marines against three unsupplied fucking German divisions. And we lost. <laughs> All right, well, at least we're greater Finland now. <laughs> Uh, United States demands, fuck, it's Greenland. Oh yeah, whatever, take Greenland. I just don't want to fight the US at all. That sounds like the least appealing thing of all time right now.
Vienna. We've taken Vienna. Yes. Oh, huge encirclement. Look at that. That's like so many divisions. There we go. Austria-Hungary's gone. And Poland has also capitulated. But let's just kill Italy. And the Lithuanian People's Republic is gone. Now let's kill Latvia. And Latvia has also capitulated. And the Kingdom of Italy has collapsed. Oh yeah, how are the Imperial Kwantung territories? Yeah, they're not do they're not doing so hot. But maybe we can just send an army there to take out the Central Powers real quick. And we did steal, you know, some of the British fleet. So our fleet is kind of back. I mean, it's not a good fleet, but it's, it should do the job. All right, these divisions have arrived safely here. And do we have? Yeah, we have Greed Sea. Okay, murder. Let's commit murder, please. End this war against the Central Powers. Tokyo, and they're gone. Why isn't the faction dead? What is there? put a bullet through my temple right now we have to kill chile D these people marmaduke we have to kill a guy called marmaduke to end this war this game is making fun of me this game is mocking me this is bullshit kill them with fire throw rocks at them smash their heads in with hammers anything okay well the war is over and now let's finally end out this campaign by murdering China. Communist China, to be more specific. We're gonna try to speed run reinforcing this front. And the United States has started nuking Communist China. I also want to nuke them. It's like Yan'an. And then we should probably try to take Chongqing as well. Come on, let's take that city, please. Please! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, finally. I still have one country to do after. I'm, I'm... I'm really not feeling it. I'm telling you right now. I'm not feeling it right now, Mr. Krabs. Alright, war is over. I think the entire world it's pretty much a Finnish supremacy league we're still for some reason at war with the Spanish commune <laughs> okay let's end our lives and yep that's it for Spain all right and peace deal over this is the end of greater Finland this is probably the apotheosis of my Finnish gameplay and yeah I guess we'll move on to um, <laughs> the last one <laughs> Alright, so this time, <laughs> we're gonna go finish neutrality. Alright, so, for this last one, I was fucking done when I recorded, and I'm done right now while editing. So I actually didn't even speak that much during the recording. I'm just gonna describe what happened over a time lapse, you know? This video is already long enough as is, I don't want it to be even longer. So yeah, uh, enjoy. The first few years of the campaign are spent setting up defenses and doing focuses, building up our industry for the coming tension in Europe. In the midst of German aggression in Europe, Europe, we joined the Nordic Cooperation Alliance along with France, Denmark, and Norway, and subsequently entered war with Folk Republican Sverige, which is questionably allied to Hitler. We quickly disposed of the Swedish frauds and encroached upon German territory. After a long and arduous war in Germany involving many, many countries, the Nordic Cooperation Alliance and the Allies come out victorious. Although the access to Japanese was still kicking, we need to secure a more immediate border that with the Soviets. The Kingdom of Finland would never become the greater Kingdom of Finland if it did not reclaim its ancestral lands, and so the greatest war of the 20th century would begin. Just kidding, they were kind of fucking weak and bad at the game. Before we could even think of finishing off the Japanese, our faithful great Danish allies got to them before us. And with that, the war with the Axis had ended. Alright, so end of the peace deal. We took like most of the Baltics. We got like a bit of Germany there. I don't know what the thought process was. Oh yeah, we took all Sweden as well. Even the core state of Denmark here. They're probably not too thrilled about that. But out of all the ones, this was probably the least successful one. I was just so tired and done. This might be the worst outcome that has uh, maybe ever come out of the world, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, make the funny number go up, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Too lazy to do proper outro. Thank you to members Flayman1995, Lars, Organic Data Thief, The Atlantic, Chris Dibbs, Muralis, Yobo Mokianos, Delta, Michael Rafter, The Monolith, Grace Wang, Nate, John B, Lollyhawk, User One, I'm sure User One, Sleepy Sime, Alex the Tank, Joy, Sark, Yuji Teddy, Amen, Firefox, Constructs, Cypersarcosis, Stalin, Username Matt, Kingdom of Hangover, Arnold Liskis, Miguel Garnica, Atreides, Halle Brock, Kaya, Keki Rhyme, Merots, Razmat's Channel, Potato is blah blah blah, Icornkin Man, Jesus Christ, Nick Zagoon, Mantis Shrimp, X Der Horsklopfer, not to mention Raimi New, Nerdy Optics, Nicholas Green, Auto Mulior, Lars, Tola, Pangaroom, Galaxy, and Asldi. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next one.